Today, friends and family members are reacting to the arrest of a suspect in a decades-old murder case. Kim Gable talked to Lynn C. Thaler's high school friend and Janice Petropola's brother a short time ago. Loved ones say not a day had gone by in the last 46 years that they did not think about the loss of Lynn C. Thaler and Janice Petropola. The 19-year-olds, both graduates of Penn Hills, were brutally murdered while on vacation in Virginia Beach in 1973. I talked to Janice's brother over the phone. Unfortunately for victims' families, this is a life sentence. Whether the, the perpetrator is caught or not, it lives with you. Her memory lives with us. And we are just um, very grateful that we were alive to see this come to justice. Uh, we, we, we had accepted, basically, that we would all go to our graves without knowing who actually did this. Cold case detectives called the families Monday night with news they charged 80 year old Ernest Broadnax with the girls' murders. Their bodies were found in an oceanfront motel. Valerie DeVere worked with Lynn at a credit reporting agency in Pittsburgh. She now lives in Houston, Texas. When I talked to the police in Virginia Beach, they were under the impression that it was somebody that I knew. How they came up with that, they weren't real specific, but they were connected to that for a while. Valerie is relieved she did not know the suspect. She says she would typically go on vacation with Lynn and Janice, but decided not to travel to Virginia Beach that summer. At some point in time where, you know, some of this would come up, I knew with all the technology out there, this was going to be solved, and I was just hoping that in my lifetime it would be solved. I, I would hate to have left this earth not knowing that justice had not been served for the both of them. So police have officially charged Ernest Broadnax with those two killings. However, he is also being investigated in connection with at least eight others. The victims, all young white women, all reported missing or murdered in that area during that time. So that news, too, a lot for these families to take in. Kim Gable, KDKA News.